This is the recording in the multi-track view video. Okay. Um, first of all, when you record, I don't know about you, but I like to have a, a click track, a metronome, and I showed you how to set up the metronome in the metronome setup video. So I've set that all up, and I'm going to hide that so it's out of the way. I've assigned a, a track to it, and it's all set up. Now, the next, the first thing I do uh, is I select my tempo. What tempo am I going to record at? Well, I see right here that I'm set at 120. I want that to be a little lower, so I'm going to go up to timeline. I'm going to have my uh, its tempo going to be set at 100. And uh, of course, you can set up your tempo mapping and positions and everything right there. If you have an elaborate setup there on your song, if you, it's, in other words, if your tempos are going to change, you do it right there. Okay, and uh, I'm going to name my track Acoustic Guitar. And I'm going to I'm going to right click in there. I'm going to set my texture. Okay, we'll have it be the teal leather. But every time I record a new track, I go, I set up my name, I right click, um, and then I go to the next color, because that color will have a check, and I know it was that one. I just, and then I just keep going down and down and down. And that way, I always have a different color for everything, and of course, I can manipulate the colors. I'm just showing you the way I do it, but it is there for you. Okay, next, we've got our name, we've got our tempo, we're, we're all set up there. So next, we're going to click the record button. And I know that this is the file I'm going to record in because I have it set up in my, uh, oops, let's go back up here, in my file path. I set that all up. So when I press record, it goes to that file. All i got to do is name my new file, and we will name it... Uh, one, two, three, SS. Okay, now I've got uh, two dialog boxes open up, and I have various choices in both these, and I'll show you something here. I want to show you this while I have you. I can put this over here, and if I press record, another uh, channel opens up, and so on. And in this window, I can make it smaller, or bigger if it's all the way down here if I hold my left now watch this number here if I hold my left mus, mouse button down I can scroll see that I'm only scrolling between three tracks but you could have 48 of these set up here and it could come in handy you can bring them up here and we won't be uh, using that one or that one just just we're just gonna record one track to start off our song that I, we're going to record. And here, here at the top, you have your track. Now here I can select the track I want to record on. If I want to record on track three, watch here, it goes to three. And I can go on and select. But we're recording on track two, another way to select it. Here you have your inputs. And you have choices. Here's your stereo, depending on your sound card. I've only got eight inputs or four stereo with my card. That's all I need for now. And soon I'll have a lot more. Uh, here you have your mono. And of course you can have 48 monos. And I'm going to be recording. And uh, that's what I'm going to record on right there. And so that sets it up. And I'm record I'm my sound card set up. It's linked to it. Everything that's just that easy. Okay, there's another option here, and this is mixer channels. I can record from an, uh, an input mixer channel, and I have 72 of those. But to explain that better, I'm going to go to the help file here, and I have it all set up. And this is really, really a cool feature in Saw Studio. And let me read this for you. Selecting a mixer channel as a record source activates live monitoring capability. The mono switch setting of the channel determines whether a mono or stereo file is created. If the channel is set to an input uh, device source, live input signals will be routed through the channel strip, utilizing all EQ, gate, and compressor functions as well as FX patches and 
aux sends. If the channel is also assigned to an output, the signal can be directly monitored. If the uh, if aux send masters are assigned to the out uh, to output devices, they can be used as headphone feeds back to the performer. Wow, that's pretty powerful stuff. This mixer here is it's as real as any hardware mixer on the planet, but it's just it operates in the virtual realm. And as long as your computer is tweaked and ready and more powerful enough and, and, and can handle the low buffer settings needed, you can use it for live mixing, live input. So if you use that, heck, I'm a drummer. I could have a gate and a compressor on, on all my microphones on every channel, set it up, and have it all set it up one time and recall it anytime I want to record my drums, which is pretty, pretty cool. That's there for you in Saw Studio. Next, you have an option here, which is adjust input level. If you click on that, left click, if you have no way to um, uh, control the input sound, you can control it right here. And you can say, take minus 39.5 uh, dB. And there it is. It's going to it's gonna adjust it for you. And if you want to reset it, just click reset in, input, and there it goes. It's at zero. So that does it for those uh, for your, your channel here. And you can see the name, A Guitar, is put in there for you. Over here, you have your Setup button. You click that, and the MT Record Setup dialog box opens up. And here you can click on this and change your rate, your resolution, and it shows you where these files are being recorded. This is going to be recorded in that file, and this is this is the name of the track. And if you click these buttons, the down arrows, it shows you have 40. Oop, one too many. You have 48 choices, 48 mono, 24 stereo, and that's how you move along to make sure they're all the way you want them. Okay, everything's okay there. And next, you have the retake button, and here you can retake. It, you know you've recorded something now you wanna you wanna retake it you can just click that that you can click the space bar or click this menu open up this menu and click it here uh, you have various selections and then down at the bottom you have a couple of different ways of recording and these are dependent on the version of uh, Saw Studio that you have okay so let's see where we're going next. Okay, let's show. I, I've got this set up. I just want to show you this. If 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 I take the hold the control button down and left click the exit button here, I'm exited out. But what I did by holding the control button down is I made that setup that I, all that information I put in there, I made that the current active record template. And what that means is I can just go right up here to any of these record buttons in the MT. If I hold the shift key down and left click, it recalls all that information. It's all set up, whatever, I, however I had it set up. And that's a pretty cool thing. Okay, let me show you the different ways of recording. And there's a, a number of different ways. First of all, you can just, it, these buttons here, the record button, if, once that's pressed in, if you have a microphone set up, you're going to have your level here and you can adjust it from your mixer. Or you can go up here and adjust it like I showed you. And of course you have your record button. You have to have record ready. And then you can you choose record or SRP recording, which is uh, simultaneous record and play. Of course your stop. Now to X out of, I mean to, to, to unselect that, you press stop. Now there's a number of different ways to record. Let me show you here. I'm not going to record anything. I'm just going to show you how it functions. And we will select this little space here. And we're going to press the home button here. Get ready. Now, if I SRP record, recording is going to engage here, and then it's going to stop here. 
See that? Did you see the record button came on and it stopped? So that's a pretty cool thing uh, when you're recording and you can find many good uses for that. Now let's uh, let's delete that. Oh, I gotta stop here before I can do anything up here. Delete that and let's now. Of course, you can just press record and stop, and I just recorded whatever I recorded. And Saw Studio doesn't show you anything when you're recording, so it doesn't take up CPU time. So don't think you're not recording just because you don't see it happening uh, as you record. Now, there's a couple other ways now. So let's uh, select this, and let's go, let's get a little pre-roll on there. This is where the curse is going to start. Let's go up to retake and let's select multi take loop record. I press record ready and now it's going to it's going to start recording here. It's going to stop recording here, then it's going to come back here and do it over again. And it's going to loop record. Pretty cool, huh? And see, it's making them right here in, in the regions view, see? And it will keep going until it runs out of the counts. And you can go up to 100 of these, I believe, in Saw Studio. Or if you um, stop, if you go down here and click that, a dialog box opens up, and it's 1 through 100. So you can set it at whatever you want. That was take eight and if it would have stopped it at, uh, at uh, eight. So I can select all these, press delete, and press delete. And now the another way I can do this is for oh, if you have layers in like you do in saw studio and saw studio light you can multi-take the layers so it's going to record to the layers now watch this number right here see layer two so I just recorded five layers deep, and of course I can then go here and select which layer. And this, and if I go down here, I can see that something is recorded on that layer by that uh, little icon there. And it was getting ready for five, but I stopped it. And in this dialog box, we have all kinds of ways of manipulating layers. Uh, adding textures to different layers and so on. They're all right here. They're very self-explanatory, very easy to understand. Here's a couple options for removing silence from the track or marked area, automatic, or and so on. Disable the track and enable uh, track FX auto bypass. So if I want to select layer one, there it is. And of course, I have them all here. I'm going to delete them because I don't need them delete that press home and there I go now in here see how this is still selected I don't say I don't want to loop record all I got to do is shift left click that selection and it's deselect deselected and uh, retake all are you sure it deleted them all excellent okay so we've went over everything in the recording menus and these two menus here in the different options and our loop record so let's record I need to set up something here and then I'll be right back and we're gonna record a little acoustic guitar and we're gonna start writing a, a little song here and then have some fun <laughs> 